And after capturing Beijing, uh, we're in a really good position to move towards London. And uh, now we have the the military military industrial complex, so we should be able to get units even more faster. Um, yeah, we can probably go for the. Actually, at this point, it's just a matter of getting units. Let me get the factory done first. And get units, move them as soon as possible against uh, uh, London. Because that's, right now, actually, is my next objective. I'm pretty sure we should be able to take care of them. Let's see if he's... He uh, probably wants to create a fleet of cruisers so I want to put all my units in one cruiser and then see them going down with a with a fighter or submarine or something I don't know. I mean, the, the Chinese still have a lot of technology so it, there is a possibility that they have some, some naval units though I don't really want to take the risk let's try to move all the units and then try to create a fleet that will do the trick right this is also very important. It's very, very dangerous when you when you start moving your all your the big army. Um, yeah, we should probably go the other way, just in case. Just in case, try to avoid the the British and the Chinese because they are still alive no matter what. Mm -hmm. So don't we don't want to take any chances to lose all our army in one go and then find ourselves in a big big trouble because we can, we don't have units to finish with the with whoever is left in this case is London so we're gonna put all our units no probably right there is much better so we have some protection at least for the for the forest so and a decent force but I, I don't know I, I'm pretty sure that London might have some extra defense defensive units and um, we're gonna try to move back a little bit um, mm -hmm. okay we can also go for culture victories if we want at this point which is really doesn't make any sense because we are running communists so we really don't we're not producing culture at all but um, all right now that we have a Benz fly we can start working in the get some bombers just in case we never know how tough it's gonna be that battle in in London. So first of all, we can probably get two different armies want to attack uh, Zimbabwe because we need to get our capital back. Mm -hmm. And the other fort will be the main fort will be going straight straight against uh, London. Mm -hmm. So for now, I'm gonna start focus so our forces in 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 bombers probably and move it yeah in these directions we can get all the bombers together um just in case London come up with some weird defensive units that, that probably artillery are gonna have a rough time I, I I don't really I'm not really sure of how many Maybe they have some cruiser or battle chips outside uh, London, and that could be also true. I don't see any so far, but you know the naval support that London—I mean the British receive—is it's amazing. So you don't wanna really take the chance, right? So 96 against 60 is a pretty good odd. Okay, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, this is actually is gonna hurt. Um, that's just the odds of the game, guys. You see, oh, now they oh, they become they got a general now. We're in big trouble now. We really need some naval support and um, probably some spies to. Yeah, well, I wasn't really expecting them. I mean, ninety. Uh, was the the odds were in favor of our artillery, but uh, well, that's. That's one of the things that we love about civilization, right? It's not like everything. It's not everything in writing. Uh, you can you don't really have the the last word right away. Uh, we're gonna start putting some spice in here because probably might need to disrupt their their defense. Um, 
uh, it was funny. I remember Civilization Four. We used to have some nice fight when you have a bomber attacking and the other guys defended with archers, and the archer were able to take down the bomber, which is okay. Give me a break, but <laughs> that's part of the game, I guess. So maybe some nuclear arrows or something. I have no idea, but it's always fun. That's that's the the thing that keep you going because otherwise it's just ratch for the more strong units and then just move forward right you there is no surprise in that so that's the beautiful thing about the hearts of the battle right we still have a chance to lose so hopefully we're not gonna lose my more, more unit because i don't really have much more um and i remember more of my artillery armies are on their way uh, the chinese you see the chinese have submarines that's why it's so dangerous i mean you, you, you see that those submarines are very strong against uh, cruisers so do you really want to take any chances to have all your army go in sync with a uh, um, going sunk because of the a submarine that you wasn't really expecting to see right so you need to be a little more careful uh, the submarines are a lot more slower than the cruise, but uh, still, that's something that you need to keep in mind. Sometimes it's just gonna appear in your in your base, and you, if you're not ready, you see right now I'm moving a, a a cruise fleet over here. But um, that's why I decide to take the long route. I know it, it probably I should just go straight from from Beijing to to London over here. But uh, again. That, that's the kind of thing that you need to avoid try to take your extra seconds to think about it because you can take only a couple of submarines in there to bring down your whole army and that will that will do it <laughs> not much more you can do right so yes it's about time to get back Zimbabwe because uh, because it's ours right so um, yeah, we still Zimbabwe is still level 8 so I knew the there was something wrong with that location. It was it was really hard to make the city grow as a capital. So okay, the odds are really against the Sulu today. <laughs> really make the game more interesting. So I might need to probably get some bombers going on because it looks like the computer is really trying to cheat today, huh? Yeah, once once in a while you have this freaking games that uh, you're really not expecting to see like a, a rifleman destroying artillery which is when the odds are like a one or one and three just like a, doesn't make any sense but we'll see the bombers should be able to clean the house right uh, the only problem with the bombers remember you need to keep your bombers close to one of your cities so they can uh, refuel after a few turns i think you have only four turns so that's very important. Oh, I can see the British moving against Zimbabwe too. So, that, all right. So, but see, this is the risk. <laughs> That's why I, I always try to avoid moving my units in uh, using naval units in this case, cruisers, because you never know. The odds are so crazy that, especially when you're playing daily. Sometimes when you're playing lower levels. Um, I believe the the odds are more in favor to you, but uh, when you play in um, in daily, it's like a, no way, <laughs> no matter what, they are gonna come up with something weird. All right, so we're gonna try to use the bombers. Uh, yeah, I probably need a couple more to get rid of uh, Zimbabwe. Gee, I wasn't expecting Zimbabwe being that strong, but uh, uh, whoever thought that those ri riflemen are gonna be able to destroy my artillery, right? I wasn't expecting that either. <laughs> Uh, probably this is going to be one of the last, probably one of the last videos about the Sulu, because uh, if if nothing happened with those, <laughs> with my big army of uh, artillery units, well, I think we should be okay. Uh, once again, you never know with this game, so we're gonna just take as slow as possible. Uh, probably can try to push forward with my tanks, but. Uh, I don't really have ma man that many units, so I don't really want to put them in risk. And, and we already see, we already saw that the the odds are really against us, so there's no really a point. So we're gonna try to just move this as soon as possible. Yes, we are all the all the cities are producing fast right now, so 
uh, that's the only problem about the late part of the game the late game you always have this to do the management to 10 15 cities and it's, it really becomes annoying uh, probably one of well, exactly the same problem that we have when we used to play civilization 5 and 4 uh, even the, the, the latest one the 5 because of the once you have control of a bunch of cities uh, it, it becomes a very very hard to keep track of everything uh, it's, it's not like it's hard but it, it's really annoying okay you're really trying to for me my favorite part is to play in the the the, the, the early stage of the game when you play with warriors and even knight horsemen archers big big men something like that when you go into morn era it's like a totally different ball game and um, it is funny but sometimes you can get you can get into get stuck in some really long 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 games um, especially multiplayer so you might want to try try to avoid that <laughs> if you don't really have enough time to play online that's one of the problems that that's why lately I, I have well I haven't played this game in months, but uh, when I used to play online multiplayer it was just against friends, people like that, because I don't really had really have the time to to finish a whole game and uh, there is no point to just play with the Sulu or with the Aztec and just try to rush the enemy at that it's this too old, alright? That's uh, that's something that you're always gonna see online, right? People playing with the with the Germans and everything, so it is more fun when you cap so a most rela relaxed phase of the game. Try to enjoy a little more. The game is so beautiful that you really wanna try to enjoy every second, right? So sometimes when you play online, one is the lag. There is a lot of lag sometimes when you play online. Sometimes the other guys take a little longer for a stupid turn that shouldn't take more than two seconds, and uh, so it really is another really experience. And uh, when I'm playing online, usually I play with my friends so we can just take a break or something or you know, just leave the game to one point that's it you don't need to get crazy the whole thing is to have fun right so um yeah we're trying to make some rush trying to make it interesting but uh besides that you don't really want to be sit down in there for hours right um even when it's funny but uh it's still the, the game can become it can be a very very long nightmare if you play against a good guy another good player right I uh, remember I mentioned that uh, when I was playing Civilization 4, one game, I think it took us like 18 hours or something like that. Of course, we took a couple of breaks, but uh, it was just painful. It was just painful. We play in a map which is called War, so it's the whole war, so you guys can imagine how crazy it can be. Um, but anyways, those are called old times, right? Uh, let's see, we have another army of... Yeah, we can get another group of bombers, another wing of bombers. Try to finally finish with Zimbabwe. Thank you. Because it was taking a little bit too long. And after taking Zimbabwe, we should probably able to. It does not the German capital. That was my capital, anyway. Um, yeah, it was taking too long, and uh, I really need to get rid of London. That's the main concern, and uh, anyway, no, there's always some extra firepower for <laughs> for my worst enemy, right? Wow, they come in with cannons, night. They really get stuck in history, right? We come up with artillery, more and infantry, bombers. Uh, they only have riflemen and knights. It's like a what? <laughs> it happens. It happens. But uh, again, you don't really want to take any any chances in this game. Just wanna go straight forward and get rid of them. And uh, so it's important to use spies. I usually, depending on how easy is the game, or how fast you're moving, sometimes you don't really think about that, and you're just trying to get rid of the game as soon as possible. But for example, when I play with my with the Russians, it's a totally different game because the Russians have half price of uh, the price of the spies are half. So <laughs> you you're gonna see me spamming spies like crazy. All right. So yeah, we're finally getting close to London with my artillery. It was taking way too long, and I'm just gonna move this cruise in here to see if they have any potential issues and over the sea. But uh, well, let's finish in the next video, guys.